Hyundai or Hyundai have just revealed a very interesting patent for a solid state battery, which is different to every other solid state battery that I've seen. I've reported on a lot of them on the channel over the past couple of years. People are probably sick of hearing about solid state batteries. But interestingly, unlike Toyota, who have kept their so-called amazing solid state battery technology pretty much completely secret, Hyundai has revealed exactly what is going on with their pressurized solid state. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. This is some very interesting tech, and Hyundai, are, they're actually one of the most innovative companies worldwide. They've patented a lot of things that actually they're starting to make, or they, they actually put into production. 800 volt platform, 350 kilowatt fast charging. That's just a little tip of the iceberg of some of the things that they've been working on. Only a few days ago, Hyundai has patented its pressurized solid state battery. They say that they have taken a giant leap in EV battery technology, filing for a patent for an all solid state EV battery system in the United States. The company aims to, well, have better battery technology than everyone else with higher energy density. And I mean, what we're talking about here are batteries that would provide potentially double the energy density of the batteries Hyundai are using today, possibly even more than double. They're saying that this battery will give their vehicles, their EVs up to possibly more than a, more than a thousand kilometers of range, so more than 600 miles of range with superior performing um, abilities, the ability to fast charge, charge really, really quickly. The patent titled All Solid State Battery System Provided with Pressurizing Device was granted on the 28th of December 2023. So almost exactly one month to the date of this video. And it's really interesting because it's very different. I mean, a pressurizing device is used to make this battery doesn't work without it, but it does offer a completely different, a completely different way of making a solid state battery work. Unlike traditional lithium-ion batteries utilizing liquid electrolytes, Hyundai envisions a future with a pressurized all-solid-state battery system whose pressure remains constant in every single cell, irrespective of the charging and discharging rates. The solid electrolyte promises enhanced stability and performance even if damage occurs to the battery addressing a significant concern in EV batteries. Now, what I mean by damage? If a single cell has an issue, it because of the pressure, apparently it doesn't make any difference to the battery's performance. You'd get a little bit of battery degradation, very, very minor, but it wouldn't actually affect the overall battery pack's use. Solid state batteries have obviously, they've garnered a lot of attention, huge amounts of attention over the last few years for their potential to be a game changer. And it's very real, it's very possible that they will be one day. Also for the potential for faster charging and for superior energy density. But the technology is expensive, it's hard to make, and it prevented them so far from becoming commercially produced. Hyundai's innovative solution wants to, they think they can get around the challenges that have been faced. The patented system envisions battery cells arranged within a closed chamber pressurized by fluid. As many patents go, the description is kind of vague when it comes to the details. There's not a whole lot of info there, but it says a pressurizing device controls the fluid supply while sensors monitor pressure and temperature. A voltage detector tracks each cell's voltage and a controller initiates charging and discharging within a predefined temperature and pressure parameter. Additionally, a thermostat ensures optimal operating temperature. Now to give you some context here, many, many car companies are working on solid state batteries. Toyota say they are, Nissan say they are. No one really knows the truth behind those claims. General Motors are, Volkswagen, definitely no Volkswagen, definitely are. They're the only ones here that are a guarantee, yes, because they're not doing it themselves. They're doing it through um, US, some of the biggest battery companies in the world in particular, one of them, Quantum in the US, and they're, 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 those guys are legit. So we know that that product is real, very likely to be com come to the market within the next few years. Might take longer, but it will eventually get here. Other automakers though, 
uh, Japanese automakers. They say that they are. There's not a lot of evidence behind that. We don't know for sure whether or not that's true. They're making some big claims, though. Mercedes-Benz, we know that they have invested in solid state battery technology. Uh, Hyundai, though, they haven't said much until now. And we, we found out about this new battery just a matter of weeks ago. But they're saying that they want to be one of the biggest EV companies in the world by 2030. And this is a pathway for them to do that by having solid state batteries, which could be much smaller than existing batteries today, and therefore will cost less to manufacture. CEO Jay Hoon says that Hyundai's commitment to de developing solid state LFP and NCM batteries, pursuing cost reduction and enhanced flexibility is key to the company's future. Hyundai's patents for electrolyte solutions, binder solutions, and solid state battery electro manufacturing methods show that they are absolutely, I think, ahead of the curve when it comes to EV innovations. EV production, not so much. I mean, yeah, they're doing better than, say, Toyota, for example, but you know, they've got a ways to go. But when it comes to their work on new technology for their EVs, they're doing extremely well. One good decision I think they've made recently is to make some of their future vehicles, some of their future EVs in China using CATL and BYD batteries, which will massively reduce the prices, meaning they can compete with companies like BYD and Tesla. Thank you for watching.